Okay, hi Shannon. Uh, Martin here in our back garden in the evening uh, because it's brighter for a little bit of filming. I'm just going to show you briefly some of the basics about uh, the fiddle, putting on rosin, tuning and a couple of things like that. This is the first video. This is about putting on rosin. Here's the camera in its case, hopefully much like your one is. I've got two bows in here, you'll just have one. You turn the clip if it's the same kind of setting to get the bow out. Uh, it should be fairly slack at the moment. Probably best not to touch the hair too much. Uh, I hold it like this to tighten up. And I want it tight enough that I can kind of just fit my little finger in the gap. This should always be bowed like that. You should never have that straight or certainly not beyond straight or you are damaging the bow. Now, rosins. Uh, you've got one that should look something like this. Uh, I think I've got you some hill dark rosin, which is supposed to be particularly good and sticky for fiddlers. Rosin comes in a variety of colours and shapes and sizes. This is a light coloured one, or a fairly light one, kind of uh, a honey colour. This neat little tin one is, I think, somewhat darker, like that. And I can't even remember what make that is. And here's one made by Kaplan. Darker still, uh, slightly flatter. They're all rosin. They're all made from tree sap and they're all necessary to do some fiddling. It's a good idea to put your thumb on the metal here at the bottom of the thing, otherwise it will chip the rosin. Then just run the bow over the top of the rosin as if you were bowing. That's the way I do it. It seems to work pretty well for me. I don't go right down to the bottom, but I've got my thumb there in case I slip. Chips don't matter, it's all going to get used up eventually. You're going to do, do this for quite a long time because your bow has no rosin on it at all. Uh, mine's been rosin before, so I don't want to put too much on. I'll call that a day. If you get rosin dust coming off the bow, if you do that, then you've probably got a bit too much on. Just give it a tap, carry on playing it'll come down. You only rosin if the bow appears to be sliding on the strings as you've had today uh, or yesterday um, with not enough rosin to actually get a grip on the strings. Okay, that's the end of the first one.